Hi lovely people, how are you? If you're wondering why I look like this and why this is on my head, just bear with me and I will explain. So if you read from my title, I am going to be showing you guys how I did my makeup in high school. And I'm so excited to be collabing with my dear friend, Hot Mess Mama MD. If you don't know who she is, I will leave her channel up here and down below. I honestly love her channel. She does so many like high ends versus drugstore prices or maybe like a high end palette like the Urban Decay versus like maybe a palette from Hush. And she puts them on each different eye and see, is it worth buying the higher end or can you just get away with not spending so much and I love them series she does a lot of other things she also uploads just about every day I don't know how she does it because she does have a daytime job as well and kids and a husband so I just love her like I said please do check her out anyway let me tell you how we we started to talk about how we ended up doing this so we were talking through Instagram about collabing together and I was like yes let's do it and we're like well, what can we do and we're about the same age she just turned 40 and I am 42 and I'm like well, we went to high school around the same time let's do how we did our makeup in high school because I've been wanting to do this video for such a long time and she said she wanted to do it so that's what we decided to do and I'm so excited and when I used to apply my makeup these are what I wore maybe not this style but this is what I wore and we always wore now I went stopped going to school in 93 I should have graduated in 94 but I do have my GED but back in the early 90s these were the styled earrings and which my dear friend Pam sent this to me and I love them or with the name so you would have the hoops with your name or you would have the necklaces with your name all that stuff or the rings with your name or the letter A I would have a big A ring let me know in the comments below if you remember that type of stuff so I figured I'm going to look just how I would in the morning for high school I'm going to show you this is what I would have on my head now I also have some pictures I'll show you towards the end of me as a teenager and at prom and things like that so please do stay to the end so you can see them pictures so let's just get started i love them let me just tell you this i love 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 the 90s love it so much it is probably my favorite genre 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 of all times, I love the 90s music. I love Boys to Men, Jodeci, Keith Sweat, LL Cool J, all of them. That is my jam. Madonna. Um, oh my God, I can go on and on. I just loved it. We can go back in the late 80s and the 80s. Stevie Nicks. All of that I loved. I love all music. I loved heavy metal. I loved um, to Nirana. I loved Twisted Sister. Who remembers back then? That was true heavy metal. Um, I loved like the rap, uh, the slow jams, all of that. I just loved music. So, God, I'm so nervous about doing this because I live in New Jersey, if you're new to my channel. And back then, the style was to look tan, but not like brown tan, like orange tan. <laughs> So the more orange you looked and then the different trends like you know I didn't know you had to like go down your neck so it would just stop right here <laughs> I didn't know you had to put it up in your hairline so it would just stop like it would go around it's the funniest thing and I look at pictures now and I'm like oh my god why didn't anybody tell me that you know but nobody knew just like you didn't have makeup brushes the only person who would have makeup brushes would be like makeup artist you didn't see that unless you were going to like the mac store and getting your makeup done or like if you were on tv and you would watch people doing their makeup and stuff no you used the brushes that came with the makeup or your hands your hands were the brushes so let's get started like i said a hundred times so i picked up what i used to use is face powder but the foundation that's what i used to use so i picked up the cover girl and my all my shades were always natural beige that's what i always use natural beige i just figured oh that sounds good but when i tried to swatch this this is not too orangey so i'm gonna mix it in with some makeup forever hd of course they didn't have makeup forever back then they didn't have anything they only had like mac avon mary Kay. um you can go to the drugstore i don't even think they built the first walmart in my city they didn't build the first walmart it didn't open till january of 95 i only know that because i helped set up that walmart so you would either go to the mall or you would go to rite aid i think back then it was called eckerd's eckerd drugs um cvs you know stuff like that that's where you got your makeup you didn't have like ulta sephora you didn't have none of that stuff you didn't most people didn't have computers 
computers. Um, so, you know, you couldn't order online. They didn't have none of that kind of stuff back then. So that's what you did. So I'm gonna put a little bit, where can I do it? Put a little bit one here. So I'm gonna mix it in some, all right. And I, like I said, I always use these things that came with it, if you can see, because I want to test it out to see the color. So I'm going to just use a little bit of both. And let, I got a mirror right here. And there was no primers. If there was, we didn't know about it. And then you wonder why back then, every teenager, their face was broke out that used makeup, right? Because you just put the foundation right on your skin. Oh, yeah, if you guys can see it. But I used more like orangey. This is not like orangey. I couldn't find it. I guess their makeup improved in 25 years. They don't have orange makeup anymore, you know? That's funny. But at least you guys will see the difference with the skin complexions. And the makeup got so much better. Like this cover girl, I'm not kidding. This cover girl right here, like looks so much better. Now remember, I just went around. I didn't know you had a buff in there. <laughs> I just can't get over how, I mean, I guess it's been 20, 25 years, but I just can't get over how much their makeup improved then, you know? Like, it wasn't this much coverage, never. Okay, remember, I stopped right there, I didn't go down my neck, and I just went like around. It didn't go in my hairline. I would just put it in, okay. So that's what I did. Now, there was no setting powder. You didn't set your face. I didn't know anything about setting powder. Actually, this is pretty good because you don't even have to set this. I'm just amazed. Okay. Then I would go in with my blush. Now, I had this Maybelline, so I figured I would use it. I don't remember what brand I did, but you would you, usually your, the blushes came with a blush brush, right? So I just took one that I had already. Um, I think it came in like a, uh, my Hula Bronzer or something like that. And that's what we, I'm just going to pretend this is the, the, you know, them little blush brushes that came in. That's what we use. At least that's what I use. And pink was in style. So let's just do the, swatch the two pinks right here. And we would do little circles right here. This is what we would do. Little circles. I'm looking at the monitor because it looks like the coloring changed. Let's see. Let me see if I can get that focus. There we go. I don't know why this does that. All right, so you would just do that. Remember, the brushes were, were, weren't were as, you know, wide. So you would just do this. Okay, I would put a lot on, right? Because I want it to look like that sunburn effect, okay? And then I would go with my fingers, my hands. I don't even remember if I washed my hands. I'm not kidding, guys. I mean, like, not now. I wash my hands now, but back then, I don't remember. Because this is like, what, 5.30 in the morning I would do it. And I would use my fingers to blend. That's what we did. Okay. That's good. And I wish you could see the color, but you can't. Just picture this being orange, and <laughs> this wasn't. So, because like I said, they got better with their color, and I could not find, I went to, I don't know, three or four different stores, and I could not find an orangey color. <laughs> so they did improve in 25 years. All right, so let's go with my eyeliner. Now, we always use, this is wet and wild, but I don't remember the eyeliner that I used either. But it was one of them ones that just looked like the stick one that you would sharpen and they were hard, hard as hell. Like if you used it, you would like literally like probably took off some skin. So what we did is we either used a match and really what we were doing, we we're kind of making it kind of like liquid eyeliner is today. It would be kind of like liquidy a little bit. So we would use a match or I would take my curling iron that was hot and like put it on there. So that's what I have. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Now I don't have a curling iron, but I have a flat iron. And so what I did just like this, look, see that? And you see how that would look like that? All my curling irons look like that on the end. And so that way this was kind of like liquidy. And I didn't know anything that you weren't supposed to do this. And this is what I did. It, look, that's probably why I have all them crow's feet there. And I just did that. I always put eyeliner on the top. I didn't use eyeshadow. Like that. That's it. I don't know how good it looks. I don't know anything, but that 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 was just exactly what I did. And I would dab it again and go on the other eye. And that's what we did. Let me try to make it a little even. 
And that's what I did. Even if it looked bad, it didn't matter. That's what we did. At least for me, I wasn't a perfectionist when it came to makeup. I don't know why the coloring is looking. Why do I look blue again? I don't know. Anyway, so then I always use this mascara. I was so happy that they still have it. This was like the best go-to mascara. And I don't think people wore lashes back then. If they did, uh, you know, you would think, what are they wearing lashes for? Only like maybe movie stars or something did. No, you just put about 10 coats of mascara on. That's what you did. I don't even know if you can get lashes back then um, in the drugstore. Maybe you could. I just didn't know anything about it, so I didn't look for it. Let me know in the comments down below. What was the mascara did you use? Did you use this? I keep looking blue, and I'm getting very upset. Let's see. Let's try to focus this again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I do have my lights on because it is nighttime. I don't know if that's why. Okay. Another coat one. This is still pretty good mascara. Not my favorite, but it is pretty good. This is the stuff your grandmother and stuff used because they didn't have too much of a selection back then, remember? Wasn't very much to choose from. And people that went to MAC, it's more people that had a little bit of money. Otherwise, most people went to the drugstore, you know? Okay. Or like I said, we ordered Avon, Mary Kay, stuff like that. I can't get over how much the foundation has changed, how much better it is, and that I could not find an orangey color. <laughs> I guess who would want to buy an orangey color anyway? But back then, that's all they had. I guess they thought everybody was orange or wanted to be orange. I don't know. Okay. So usually I would put five more coats on, but you guys know I don't edit, so I don't want to make this too long. Oh my God, would you look at my eyeliner? <laughs> well, that's too funny. All right, and then I didn't do anything with my eyebrows. I didn't even take like a spoolie and like brush my eyebrows. I just left them like that. Usually we would pluck, well, at least I would do. I would pluck them and make them very thin, and then, you know, I thought they looked nice. I didn't have to do anything else. Now, I did use lip liner. I don't remember either. I don't remember a lot of stuff. <laughs> the kind of lip liner. I know it was probably a cheap one. And we weren't into back then the um like making your lips bigger so i'm just going to line them just where my natural line is tell you what these lip liners improved a lot too because they were the hard hard ones like that wet and wild was okay now i didn't know anything about blending them in and coloring them in no you, you just went around like this and then this is a Revlon. I found this Revlon. I would usually go in with a lighter shade than this, but this is the only drugstore, uh, a Revlon, because I used to always use Revlon. Um, what do you call it? Lipstick I had. So I'm not going to go real dark with this. I'm just going to blot it. Because so I want you guys to still, still look, at this, look at this line. Yes, and then we were taught to do this. You can see I practiced this earlier. And that was my makeup look. And then I would take this out, brush my hair. My hair was curly, so that's why, because I straightened my hair, I didn't want you guys to see how my hair is straight. I want you guys to get the effect of my curly hair. So let me show you some pictures if you are still here. I hope you are still here. I do have a 5K giveaway going on right now. I will leave it up here and down below. Please check that out if you haven't already. So I'll start with my little prom pictures. Okay, so this was my 10th grade year. So this had to be 1992. And that's what I look like. Now we had the off-white socks, but I mean stockings back then with the white gloves. We wore more like off-white, off-black. It wasn't like the nude or the tan color. No, you can see. I don't want to get too close because my camera will start messing up. And I don't know why they had us looking at the side. That's kind of weird, right? I don't know. 
Okay, this was my 11th grade year, so this was the junior senior prom in 93, and our theme for that was Till the End of the Road by Boys to Men. I don't remember what this was. I tried to take this out, but it's so old, it's like sticking to it, and I didn't want to mess it up. So that is my 11th grade year. You can see my curls a little bit. Now guys, look at the shoes. They were the ones that were like the satin shoes with no color and you would take them to get them dyed. So you would either match your dress or whatever. I wanted to match my gloves, my green gloves. Who remembers the gloves when you went to the prom? My kids make fun of me. I So I had to be 15 here and maybe 16 here. <laughs> Okay, another picture I want to show you. Now, this is of me in high school because I couldn't find a lot of them. But I was a teen mom, so I was 18 when I got pregnant, 19 when I had my son. So I think it was 19 here. So this had to be 96, still the 90s. This is a picture I want to show you because I always talk about my hair being thin, how my hair was curly and thick. So there we go. Oh, that's a picture of me when I was 19. You can, can you see up top here where I wore the eyeliner on top? See that? With the lipstick, the dark lipstick. I was probably pale because I never friggin' slept when I had <laughs> Okay, here's another picture of me. I talked about how skinny I used to be, right? And the style back then, you would either wear your hair in one of the manes or like you would roll it up and then have your hair like hanging. And so I was 19 or maybe... Maybe I was 20 here. So this had to be, my son was born November 95. So this had to be in the summer of 96. But I want to just show you how skinny I was. Holy crap, there goes the dark lips again. <laughs> And there we go in the style again of the baggy stuff. You know, you were either where you wore form-fitting stuff or the baggy stuff. This is when I'm starting to go kind of form-fitting, but not really. So that's that. This was maybe 98 or something like that. The still the style with the flannels, um, like kind of shirts and the baggy jeans. And you can see my curls right there. You know what, I should cover this up. I already showed you guys, but you know, they're my nieces and nephews and you know. So there is that. How many, you know what, you already seen the picture. I do have permission to show this. That is my son right there with the Pokemon. And you see the flannel like shirts and the baggy pants and my curls. Everything's always opposite. That's why I always want to go here. And so that's that. And then I also got permission from my son. And this is when he was about 17 or 18, the one that you've seen the little pictures of. This is when he was in trade school. I just wanted to be, show you how proud of mama I am with this. So he grew up, he is 22, he will be 23. So that's how I basically did my makeup. I didn't start getting into eyeshadow until probably about a year and a half ago, honestly. Um, I never really wore eyeshadow. So I found a new love and that's why I think I'm addicted to eyeshadow. But yeah, so anyway, I like to babble. So let me stop. This was so fun to do and it brings back so many memories. I can't believe it. I did not, I, I don't, I can't believe I wouldn't take like a cotton and swab or something and like fix this I would just go out like this and my eyes are more hooded of course now so maybe I got away with it back then because they weren't as hooded <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching please like this video subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot to me we are over 12k I am so excited that is so exciting don't forget I go live every Thursday at 7 p.m. please show up even if you don't want to subscribe to my channel that is just an outlet to go for people to talk about anything they want to talk about if you don't have anyone to talk to there is no drama it is drama free on my lives I talk about my past drug addiction. I have been clean for 14 years. I talk about a lot my depression I did. People talk about it. And if there's any trolls or anybody that comes and judge, we boot their behind out of there. So if you don't want to subscribe, please show up on Thursday nights. And um, I think that's about it. I will leave some videos right here if you want to look at more videos. And please check out my dear friend, Hot Mess Mama MD. All right, guys, leave down the comments down below too. What did what type of makeup did you wear? What brand did you wear when you were in high school or just in the in the 90s? What did you wear? What colors? Let me know the tea. All right, guys, until my next video. Bye.